The search for Jason Colvin is entering its sixth hour now. He is considered armed and dangerous. Now, this all started around 1215 today in the area of North State Road 19. Eustis police say Captain Gary Winheim heard gunshots coming from outside a Shell gas station in a plaza with a Win dixie He confronted the shooter and ended up getting shot. Captain Winheim was flown to Orlando Regional Medical Center, but we are told he is in stable condition and is expected to make a full recovery. So we're bringing you team coverage tonight. We have reporters at several scenes all across Lake County as law enforcement search for the suspect. We begin with News 6's Lauren Cervantes live in Eustis where this all started. Lauren. Matt, I want to tell you the road behind me, County Road 44, just opened up minutes ago. However, the Shell station at, inside the uh, Winn-Dixie parking lot is still under investigation. As you can see, police cars are still there searching. Now, police just held a press conference about 25 minutes ago. Police say their officer is alert and talking to the chief and that he is expected to make a full recovery. Police also saying that their suspect, Jason Colvin, allegedly committed an armed robbery at the Shell gas station located inside of that Winn-Dixie parking lot just two days ago. Police are calling it unfortunate timing for him that he returned to that Shell again today with one of their officers in the area. News 6 saw multiple law enforcement agencies responding, police even setting up in different areas around Eustis. Eustis PD officer Lauren Brown says Captain Winheim was on duty at around 1215 and was in the area. The suspect was at the Winn-Dixie and then reports of shots were fired at the Winn-Dixie area. Captain Winheim was in the area um, behind the suspect's vehicle. Shots were exchanged. He was injured. Eustis police say there are three crime scenes as of this time. The Winn-Dixie, County Road 44 just down the street from the Winn-Dixie, and a junkyard. Police holding a press conference this afternoon along with the mayor and city manager. He's alive, which is great news. Um, you know, we're a small community, so anytime uh, something like this happens, it affects all of us very deeply. Um, I've known uh, Captain Winheim since he started his career here with the Eustis Police Department. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. Police reiterating at that press conference that they are still actively looking for Colvin. He is considered armed and dangerous, and they are asking anyone who sees him to call police immediately. In Eustis, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6. Back to you.